The first official joint portrait of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge has been unveiled today to mark the couple's visit to Cambridgeshire to celebrate the county. The couple also made another appearance during their day out, visiting East Anglia's Children's Hospices each in Milton, of which Kate has been a patron for 10 years, to coincide with Children's Hospice Week. They then visited housing charity Jimmy's, where they heard about the work the organization does to help homeless people. On their first stop of the day, Kate, wearing a recycled blue LK Bennett pattern dress, and William, both 40, visited the University of Cambridge Fitzwilliam Museum, where they viewed the painted portrait of themselves as it was revealed to the public for the first time. The artwork captures Kate looking ethereal in a 1,595 pounds emerald gown by the vampire's wife, which she first wore during a historic three-day visit to Dublin in March 2020. Sporting 875 pounds Manolo Blonde green satin pumps, she is seen posing with her arm wrapped around a dapper William, who is dressed in a sharp suit with a blue tie. Painted by award-winning British portrait artist Jamie Corth, the piece was commissioned in 2021 by the Cambridgeshire Royal Portrait Fund, held by the Cambridge Community Foundation as a gift to Cambridgeshire. After viewing the portrait, the Duke and Duchess then met with supporters of the project including the artist and Lady Sybil Marshall, the wife of the late Sir Michael Marshall, who originally proposed the idea to create the portrait. Members of the public will be able to view the portrait at the 206-year-old Fitzwilliam Museum for an initial period of three years, after which the artwork will be exhibited in other community spaces and galleries around Cambridgeshire. For today's outing, Kate okays her thrifty side once again by recycling a flowing Madison dress from one of her go-to brands LK Bennett, which she previously wore when heading to a London restaurant. She teamed the patterned midi frock with a matching blue long line coat, coordinating high heels, and a clutch bag, while also opting for dainty drop earrings. William said, after looking at the painting, it's quite big. He told Corth it was amazing. The painting which incorporates Cambridge thanks to the background filled with tones and colors of many of the historical stone buildings that are synonymous with the city will also be loaned to the National Portrait Gallery for a short time in 2023 to mark the gallery's reopening. Whilst on display at the Fitzwilliam, the Cambridgeshire Royal Portrait Fund will continue to work with the museum to ensure the portrait is used as a means of encouraging children and young people of all backgrounds from across the county to take an interest in art in all its forms. The Fitzwilliam Museum has an international reputation for the quality of its learning and inclusion programs, working with early years providers, local schools, and community outreach programs to maximize impact and enrich the lives of young people and their families. Artist Jamie Corth said, it has been the most extraordinary privilege of my life to be chosen to paint this picture. I wanted to show the Royal Highnesses in a manner where they appeared both relaxed and approachable, as well as elegant and dignified, as it is the first portrait to depict them together, and specifically during their time as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. I wanted the image to evoke a feeling of balance between their public and private lives. The piece was commissioned as a gift for the people of Cambridgeshire, and I hope they will enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed creating it. Artist Jamie, who graduated from Oxford University in 2010, has previously been commissioned by Princess Anne. Kate and William's visit to Cambridgeshire will also champion the work of key local charitable organizations linked to the couple's long-standing interests, in particular homelessness and supporting families. To celebrate the very best of Cambridgeshire, the Duke and Duchess will visit the first ever Cambridgeshire County Day at the July Race of Curse, Newmarket, 